If you like this video please click on the like button. Comment with the names of the movies you would like us to cover next. Click the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified of our latest creations. We cover 100 movies from around the world every day. To advertise with our channel reach out to us. Our contact information is on our channel page. Now, let's move to the plot of this movie. Alex Kraken is a 15-year-old intersex person born with both male and female genitals, who has been living and presenting herself as female and using medicines to suppress masculine features, such as a beard, and to attempt to have more feminine features. At the time of the movie, Alex has recently stopped taking her medication without telling her parents, which will cause her masculine features to begin to develop more. Single quote. Alex's parents moved with her from Argentina to a village by the sea in Uruguay. To avoid the society's discriminatory views and strict gender expectations, they wanted to help shelter her from bullying she was experiencing. Her father, Nesta Kraken, is a marine biologist who has written a book on sexuality and makes a living treating wounded animals found by fishermen. Her mother, Suli invites friends from Argentina, a surgeon, his wife and teenage son Alvaro. The purpose, unknown to Nesta and Alex, is to discuss the possibilities of sex reassignment surgery, with Suli quietly hoping that Alex will decide to be female and go through with the surgery in the beginning. Quote. The introduction of the relationship between Alex and Alvaro further complicates the drama of the movie. When Alex asks Alvaro directly if he would like to have sex, she is initially denied. But Alvaro later follows her from the beach and she seduces him. She begins to have anal intercourse with him, with her as the penetrative partner. And while Alvaro is surprised he does not stop Alex, Nesta catches sight of them through the door and they stop. And Alvaro rushes out feeling conflicted and still in a panic at the unexpected reversal in sexual roles. When Alex later apologizes, Alvaro reveals that he liked it and has no bad feelings towards her. Single quote. This scene opens the dialogue for the audience about gender roles and allows both characters. Alex and Alvaro. A chance to question their own identities and desires. Alvaro is raised by fairly conservative parents. And towards the end of the movie his father even expresses the desire that he hoped his son was not gay. However, Alvaro begins to question himself because he enjoyed the sexual experience with Alex even though Alex was performing anal sex on him. He is exploring his own gender and sexual identity within the confines of his parents' expectations. Which contrasts with Alex's character who receives her parents' support about her situation. Quote. At the same time, Alex is questioning her own decisions about her identity and is confronted with frustration at her own body and the limitations placed on her by society. After her father walks in on the sexual experience between his daughter and Alvaro, he realizes his child is now old enough to make her own decision about her life and her sexual identity, and seeks advice from a transgender man that he had read about in newspapers years before. The man expresses his appreciation that Alex's parents chose not to make the decision for her at birth by castrating her and allowed her to make her own decision now. Alex's father is comforted by this conversation and returns to Alex recognizing that she is older now and must make her own decision. Single quote. Later in the movie, three boys from the village sexually assault Alex by forcibly pulling down her pants to see her genitals. Alex is embarrassed and ashamed by this encounter, perpetrated by the friends of Vando, her ex-friend and likely former romantic partner. 
Nesta realizes that reporting this to the police would cause the whole village to know about Alex's condition. However, Alex decides that it does not matter. Alex also decides that she does not want to resume taking medicines or have an operation. When asked by her father whether she wanted to choose to be either male or female, Alex replies, What if there is nothing to choose? Quote, single quote. Throughout the film there are multiple acknowledgments of the audience's curiosity about Alex's genitals. This is seen through the actions of other characters on screen. Most notably the group of boys who assault Alex while she is on the beach. At the end of the film, Alvaro and his family are getting ready to board the boat to take them back to Buenos Aires. There is still tension between them after their last encounter in the woods. Alvaro walks away from his family to go sit behind a sea wall on the beach with Alex for a few moments. He shows her that he has started wearing the turtle tag that she had given him previously. He asks if he will ever see her again. And she tells him that she does not think that he will. They each admit to having fallen in love with each other. But when Alvaro tries to kiss Alex she pushes him away. Scarred from her experience on the beach with the three boys. She asks him if he regrets not seeing her again or not getting to see it more. She pushes down her pants to show Alvaro her genitals. And the audience watches Alvaro as he looks at Alex. The camera lingers on Alvaro's face as he looks at Alex's genitals and the audience is made aware. The state of Alex's genitals will not be made known to them. Alvaro's father grabs him and Alex sits against the wall for a few moments crying before she returns to her family. Single quote. The ending shot is of Alex and her family leaving their guests at the boat and walking down the boardwalk. Alex grabs her father's hand and slings it across her shoulder before the camera pans to a shot of the ocean, focusing on the distant transitioning line between the sky and sea.